Speeches where representatives of the representative of the United States has said, well, if you don't withdraw your other projects of reform, speaking, for example, to the African countries, then you won't have the blind treaty either. So we will just destroy everything. We have seen personal insults, which can, we have many personal insults against representatives of the um, important representatives of countries from the South on the part of the U.S. representative. We've seen public humiliation on the part of the U.S. <coughs> representative on that. And I think this why? Why is that? Why are they so afraid of this? Why are they, why is it, and I've never seen this present before at a meeting like this. So I think um, on the part of the European Union, who has a mandate, a, a democratic mandate to support it, in, instead they're listening to the narrow business interests instead of the public interest. So basically, their lack of commitment to basic human rights has been overcome by this really strong commitment to narrow business concerns. Some people have said because of the poison pills of all of the amendments proposed by the European Union, for example, I'll give you some of the example of the amendments they propose. They say, well, the books that are being sent across border for blind people can only be distributed to blind people if their primary mission of this um, organization is to give the books so a public library would not be able to do that. So in much of Latin America, Africa, and Asia, there are practically no institutions whose primary missions are to give culture to visually